Manchester City chairman Khaldun Al Mubarak has hit out at the club's critics. This is following the more than 100 charges levelled at the club by the Premier League for breaches of financial rules. Speaking in his yearly chairman's address, Al Mubarak says that he has very strong views on the charges, but right now he is unable to comment as the case is ongoing. Obviously, I can't talk about them, uh, unfortunately, uh, for um, uh, legal reasons. What I would typically do is always comment after. So I think we're going to go through, we're going through the legal process. Uh, and these are proceedings that you know, you know, take whatever time they take. And, uh, and when we're done, we'll have a conversation. I'll give you my very blunt <laughs> views. <laughs> I, I promise I'll you that. I'll I have I'll very strong views on that, but I, sure, I am going I'm to be sure. unfortunately very restrained today. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, I understand that fully, but I mean, surely you've got a view on the way the club is being, not the word, characterised uh, in, the wake of the, in the wake of the charges. Yes, of course. I mean, that's, that's very frustrating because it, it, takes, it takes so much from the great work that's happening in this club. And it's happening not just on the football pitch. The football pitch, we talked about it. Uh, what these uh, players have achieved this year, uh, the treble, is, is incredible. And, and, that, and you know, I hope people uh, focus and, and, and judge them for their football and what they're achieving on the pitch and what they're achieving uh, in every competition they're in. That, that's, that's the reality. Uh, the club as a whole is well run, is very well run. Today, you know, the value of this, uh, of this group is over $6 billion. We've created so much value. We've brought in world-class investors in this. Why? Because we have a commercial machine here uh, that is one of the best in the world. Our executives are being targeted by the best teams in the world, always. By the way, is a credit to us. I respect that. People appreciate we are producing not just the best talent on the pitch, not just the best talent in the academies, not just the best talent in the group, but we're producing some of the best executives in the world, some of the best scouts in the world, some of the best coaching uh, staff in the world. And that's a testament to, I think, the great work that this group is doing. We're the number one football brand in the world. Uh, these are the facts. These are the facts. The club generates, I think, tremendous revenue you look at our sales in terms of what we produce, in terms from our academy, from our first team. I mean, look at last year. I mean, look at our net spend figures. I mean, I, you know, we can go in for half an hour right now with me just giving you data in terms of net spend over the last season, net spend over the last three years, over the last five years, over the last 10 years. Look at every single one of them and, and just look at these as the facts and compare us to our competition. And then, you know, you know people will throw at us they are the biggest spenders, you have the biggest squad. Again, I wish people can just pause and ask the question and get the facts and then comment.